Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Wilds, where we are watching over our elder female Ziaria here in the Pine Pack as she takes care of her last four puppies and does her best to try to see them off into adulthood. She has to live until they are at least four years old and mature, and then she has to be able to successfully hunt to have helped them survive. I am, I'm really hoping that's just a nap. But I'm really nervous because if she dies before the puppies mature, then they actually won't make it. And that is just the way of the wild. If you had a elder wolf all on her own whose mate had already passed away and her, her children from previous litters had already dispersed, who was trying to raise these four little pups. Ah! Ziaria, please, 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 please survive. Oh, geez, that popped up and it's about Mackenzie. But I thought it was about Ziaria and I was about to have a heart attack. But... Ah, we'll have to see what happens, friends. Heckin'? All right, so my fingers are crossed for Ziaria, and uh, in honor of her, I actually wanted to spend a little bit of time working on making the area look nicer today and carrying on on our Northern Song Challenge that we are... Yes, and Autumn's about to mate! Woo! Autumn and Fern are about to have some pups. That is so exciting. But I wanted to carry on working on our Northern Song Challenge and actually see if we could get a little population of doll sheep started over here and say that it is like a farmer or a rancher's place because wolves often, one of their biggest problems is actually bumping heads and getting taken out by a lot of people who have livestock. And that's a huge issue, that constant struggle between the two forces, expansive agricultural practices moving into the wilds that had been the wolves for millions of years, and the ad adaptation that both groups have to do to try to overcome that. So we're actually going to have a part of the national park that is uh, owned by like somebody who has a bunch of sheep. And some of them, we could say some of them are a little bit wild. I actually like that idea. Uh, and they have escaped! Ooh, I like that even better than- yeah, it's my national park! Get out of here with your barn! I was gonna put a barn down and everything to mimic that, but we're gonna say that there's some of the wild sheep that have escaped from a local farmer. That's a lot better! I like that a lot more! I think their population is gonna be like the easiest to hunt, so we're gonna have to take good care of them. Uh, but let's actually get this down here! Alright, so for the doll sheep which will feed all of our wolves quite well. I imagine they're as easy to hunt as the antelope. They can be in a group of one male and 39 females. <laughs> wow. Uh, and how big does their habitat need to be? Just like 4,000 to start. All right, so let's put down a quick null barricade. Um, we can actually have people like walk over here. We don't want them to walk too close to this noisemaker. Yeah, but we can actually block that somewhat. Um, and, you know, I do think it'd be fun to have another... Whoops. I think it'd be fun to have a whole nother one of these buildings, like a lodge, put down over here. Oh, Berlin's about to pass away of old age! So if I had... You know, like, oh, look at that! This is really cute! That's a little uh, lodge theme, lodge warehouse. Here's the the info booth area. Here's a cute bridge. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. I love it. I love this. I, look at how freaking cute this is. Oh my gosh, a place to eat, a place to rest. People can come and sleep in here. Heck, I, I am 1000% in love with this and actually going to put in more shops somehow in here. This is just too perfect. All right, we're putting this down. We're putting this down maybe like right on the edges. I think I'm going to put this down like right over here. And then we're going to have the dull sheep have a big like zone over here. Maybe people can picnic, picnic with the sheep, of course. Okay, this is happening. I love that our Na national park is growing enough that we can actually encourage this. This is an amazing build. Oh my freaking gosh. This is just fantastic. Like, look at this. Everything about this is perfect. I love it. All right. 
we're gonna have people come and eat over here for sure. We'll start with that. <gasps> what the heck? Autumn is already about to have babies? Oh my word. Okay, before that happens, we're actually going to call this like the sheep shack. Um, the sheep smoothie shack? The sheep poutine shack? There we go. I've still never had poutine. Ah. One day I'll have vegan poutine. I imagine it tastes like a bunch of french fries. <laughs> uh, and now we're gonna actually have one of our wonderful patrons who make all of this possible come and run the poutine shack where you can admire the sheep while nibbling on some poutine. I'm sure that's healthy. And this is gonna be Tam. So this is actually going to be, um, we'll have her be potato, potato expert. Tam, or Tam, pardon me. So potato expert Tam, thank you so much for being one of the people in our Patreon. Without you, trust me guys, things are getting really spooky on the, the yieldy uh, YouTubes. And so if you would like to keep our adventures going and help us to explore the natural world through all of our storytelling together, do please consider helping out over on the Patreon. Times are odd for all of us. Um, and they're definitely very interesting for trying to keep things going here. However, I'm going to continue to do my best. And with the support of the people on our Patreon, we're going to be able to continue to have these adventures for a long time, I hope. Um, so we'll do our best. But all right, guys, baby time! That means a wild hunt is upon us. Oh, heckin, I can't believe we're already having more pups. This is a very exciting way to complete the Northern Song challenge, though. So I'm, I'm here for this. <gasps> One baby, yes! I can't believe that Fox already has his own children. Two wolf pups. Okay, two. Is that all? I think that's it. <gasps> you guys! Autumn just had one baby girl and one baby boy. Oh my word, I freaking love them. And you know what? I already know what I want to call them. You guys, I want Ziaria the second. And I want Fox the second. <laughs> I just really, I'm, those are the two that I have been the most proud of out of all of the ones we've had so far. I'm so tickled. I'm so pleased that we had more births. Look at that, that literally just put us up on like the gold level here. I don't know if there's going to be, there's the gold level reward. I don't know if like somewhere over here, there might be another reward we can claim. So we're gonna keep going and see if there's like a hat involved. I really want the hat. We had the shirt, we got the pants. I really want a hat if there is a hat that exists. So we're gonna carry on. But really quickly, we actually have to do a hunt. So whenever a wolf is born or matures, we need to do that hunt to see what happened. This should be a quicker hunt than last time. This is also why we're trying to keep the population so high. We have a lot of elder antelope females, so I'm a little concerned for their, their sake. But let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and do the calculations real quick, and I will be right back with all of you. And the strength of the fern wolf pack has been decided, my friends. And we have lost two elder female antelope. So that wasn't nearly as dangerous for the wolves, and it wasn't nearly as dramatic as when they hunted a bunch of bison. But Sparrow has actually passed away! So Sparrow was actually hunted uh, by the fern pack successfully. And Lily, the elder, was also hunted successfully by the fern pack. So unfortunately, she is another one. Goodbye, Lily. Goodbye. You have, however, contributed wonderfully. She has done such a great job of helping out and taking good care of, uh, like, being able to contribute to the, the natural wonders that we are expanding. So I'm really proud of her, even if she's no longer with us. All right, guys. And we've got things we need to take care of. A whole bunch of the babies are stressed. They'll be okay. They're recovering. They're getting... They, they, they don't know what to do. This is their first snowfall. This is terrifying. Ah! And a whole bunch of people want to come and have a picnic um, with the doll sheep that we are going to be adding in. So let me go ahead and put down short grass over here. We're going to make a nice little path that people can come into. Oh! <gasps> 
didn't even realize it, but these are actually really cool spots where we can put exhibits. Are you kidding me? This is like A++ all around. I love that. All right, we're gonna have some nice exhibits over here. Totally here for that. We can put in more of the animals we were just talking about. All right, let's get these down. I'm gonna have to play with this a little to make sure that we can get as much as I want out of this. And then loop that. That's a nice little loop, gotcha. And then I want this to connect up like so. I think everything's more or less connected in there now. Fingers crossed. And then have people exit this way. And wrap around right here. There, so then people can come on over here and I wanna put down some picnic spots for them. Man, watching the slow evolution I might want to put like a heater over here, maybe? But watching the slow evolution of our national park is just so satisfying. I love just having everything prosper. All right, we want some benches, or excuse me, some picnic benches. Let's put down the Arctic picnic bench. I really like the new world stuff though. Like I'm really happy with the new world thing. So I'm gonna see if I can get a couple new world picnic benches somehow in here. One here, one over here. Can I stick one anywhere else? A lot of people are gonna be crowding up this spot, but we'll have to just do our best. All right, and let's get in nice new world trash can, please. Be sure to throw your trash away after you're done eating, friends. Uh, so now there's a nice spot for people to sit. We can also put down some more trash bins over here. <laughs> like, please, please remember this is not a place to litter, friends. Ooh, and I could probably go ahead and put in another picnic spot area right over here, too. Excellent. Okay, and then let's come in and let's actually add in some new animals. Yay! Right over here to represent some of what our wonderful wild world has to offer. Uh, moving on up. I don't know if there's anything. We'll keep going and we'll just do our best. I don't know if there's anything much higher in terms of what we could earn in the gold, but let's aim for at least like 30 to 35 babies. And we'll just, we're just going to keep going until we get higher and see how many babies it takes to get a hat. I really want a hat. I'm going to be very sad if there's no hat. <laughs> All right, let's trade those guys out. We're also going to need to get another keeper, I think, and start assigning our keepers to new areas. Uh, and Gila monsters! Gila monsters are actually one of the only dun -dun -dun, venomous lizards in the world, and they are indeed native to the southern United States and New Mexico. So let's add a couple of those guys in. That'd be fun. I like Gila monsters. Oh, and the Western Diamondback! Yes! That too is another native. So let's come and grab these guys. There we go. Welcome, welcome, Western Diamondback. Uh, heck. Oh, people are just walking through a wall to look at it now. <laughs> All right, we need to take care of it. Temperature needs to go up. Humidity needs to go down. Up, up, up. Come on, a little warmer. There we go. All right, humidity down a little bit more. And I think I've had diamondbacks before. Yes, so we can add in that basking lamp, all of the fallen things that it wants to see. And we're gonna have this be the, the rattler. Rattler exhibit, there we go. And then let's go ahead and name our rattlers. Why not? We'll name them after you guys. And we're gonna have one rattler end up being because you guys can cheer on for, for who you are, no matter if you are a snake. Lavender, what a lovely name. Lavender the Rattler. And then we're gonna have Apricot, which I freaking, I love Apricot so much. Apricot, there we go. Hopefully they will be quite at home and happy in here. Let's actually figure out 
window two, window three. We're gonna do 3D facade. Oof. Ugh. I forget how the 3D facades just don't look good um, with the the nature. Let's see, we'll close window two. Yeah, I think we'll close window two. Let's just leave it normal like that. That looks that, that looks better, ironically, than having the 3D facade at the back, I think. <laughs> All right, and let's get some money coming on in by putting down some donation spots. We're expanding, friends! Very happy about all this. Put a donation spot right over there. And then let's get some Gila monsters over here. And then we will start focusing on what the heck is going on elsewhere. And probably raising the price on our entire <laughs> our entire facility at this point. Alright, Gila monster, Gila monster, where are you beautiful? There you are. Alright, we'll adopt these two. Female and male. And we're gonna send them right here. Oh, there's even, oh my gosh, there's stuff like hiding inside of here I need to like hook up. I love this. This is so cool. I love this gigantic setup. We're so lucky that we have something as awesome as the workshop on the Steam Gallery for people to be able to share their creations. Cause this is just made with such love and care. Look at the like stone at the bottom of this cabin. I'm really in love with these lodge looks. Having been a child of the Midwest most of my life, I am so used to seeing these kinds of lodges. We're gonna call this the Gila Monster Rock. There we go. We're gonna give them everything they could possibly want. That high basking lamp, those trees, they're gonna be so happy. And we're gonna close those windows. There we go. Lovely! I really like that quite a bit. Now look at how many people are just like, oh my gosh, these are the best things ever. <laughs> Good for you, friends. You can come and have a little meander with some of our sheep in a minute. Uh, I wonder, can people go in with the doll sheep? All right, and we are carrying on with being able to chew through the Northern Song Challenge. I don't know if we'll make it into top tier, and I don't know if there's a hat. I'm getting suspicious. I'm really not sure if there's a hat, but you know what? We're gonna keep going for quite a while, and then we're gonna see. I, I feel like we're reaching gold level. I think at least 30 would be what I would consider gold level for having all of these babies. Meanwhile, we've adopted quite a few exhibit species. Nice rainy day. Heck, we've done a lot. Also, is Ziaria still alive? Oh, Ziaria, I am so proud of you. Keep it going, your babies are almost there. They're really almost there, you guys. They're like only a few months away from being able to grow up. I am so hopeful. I am so, so hopeful that this litter will be able to make it. Like we're in the final moments. Oh, geez. This is gonna be a little intense, whatever happens. There's even a freaking adorable chimney. Look at how meticulously beautiful this chimney is. I am so happy right now. This tickles me pink. All right, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice at the back. Look at all the little logs. This is great! Wait, oh, yes! They're maturing! You guys, the wolf pups have made it! Ziaria, you're an amazing mother! 17 years old, 17! And she has made it. Her wolf pups are maturing to adulthood. She has managed to save the wolf pups. Oh my gosh. We can do it. We're going to put down... We're, now is the time, I feel. It is time to praise them. Zaria, you are amazing. We're going to get your little babies, their statues. So we're going to have... We'll have Lunar's statue right here. Let's go ahead and we're gonna get Moon statue put down. I'm so proud of you, Ziaria. I'm gonna put Moon statue over here. I can't believe that she managed to live that long. Like she had to really push it, our girl Ziaria. Oh, we need to get statues down over here as well. But I mean, that wasn't easy. 
Oh my gosh, here, I'm gonna put a, a wolf statue over here as well by the entrance. And we'll decorate more of this area. Oh, I forgot we were supposed to be decorating with the cute little bonsai squirrels. I absolutely want to do that soon. All right, and this is going to be Maddie. All right, we'll do Victor here. Victor right over here. And then let's put Maddie down. I want us to like have a bit of a, a hike to go see Maddie back here. There we go. Maddie is gonna be over here. Oh my word. We did it, guys. <laughs> Yay! Ziaria, you are amazing. She is just freaking amazing. Doing a good job of surviving. All right. And while we're thinking about it, while we're working on it, let's go ahead and we are going to put down the last of the wolf statues and pat ourselves on the back because today was quite an eventful day. I'm really proud about our wolves. I'm so proud of, of Ziaria. Like, she's old. She's old. But by heck, she was going to do everything she could to live long enough to take care of her babies. And that's amazing. All right. And then we're gonna come back and figure out why multiple animals have a little welfare next time. Because it is never a finished day when you have such a vast and beautiful world to take care of, my friends. So I hope that you are going to be ready next time to put on your wild, wild ranger boots. Help me to patrol the many, many fields that we have under our care. We're gonna add in Autumn's statue. Actually, we're gonna have Ziaria, the second statue here. And then I wanna put Autumn's statue down in the rocks over here. Kind of tucked away, because I think she really likes the trees. And then we're gonna finally add in over on this side. Oh, Thomas is about to die of old age. Oh, he's been such a good boy for us for so long too. Speaking of good boys, and then right over here, we're gonna have Fox the second kind of tucked into the trees there. <gasps> Thomas has passed away of old age. Oh, rest in peace, old man, rest in peace. But all right guys, we've done it. So now they have all matured. We're gonna have to go ahead and I will do another hunt to see um, which animals didn't make it if Ziara ended up getting injured before then. Um, and we'll we'll see how it went, but the, the pups have survived. The wolf pups have survived. And rest in peace, old man Thomas. You were truly a legacy of your own. In fact, I'm gonna name this Thomas in honor of him. Thomas, the founder. Ah, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful Ziaria and her amazing job of raising her babies to adulthood. We'll have to see how they fared uh, after we do a quick hunt with, with like between now and the next time. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wolf pack. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.